Hey, I got it to work. Hi, everybody. How's it going today? I hope it's going good. I have another little experiment that we're going to try tonight and see if it's something that you really don't think about a lot, but hopefully it will help you when you start thinking. Um, not when you start thinking, but when you start praying and you start growing your faith, you can think back to this experiment and maybe it will help you. There are so many things that we go through in life that if we just take time out to pray and if we just take time out to remember that our prayers matter and we have to have a thing called faith. Hey Paula, so glad you guys are on tonight. You're here just in time for another experiment. We're gonna talk about faith and it's something that we take for granted a lot. Sometimes we think about take care of it it's, it's fine but really if we have faith our lives are so much easier now I want you to notice that I have on my bold movement hat can you see it this is my hat and I think it might be backwards in the camera but I got this on the boldmovement.com we have a little uh, store there that you can get some stuff but I have some really big news and I hope you guys are sitting down it's really really big news so, hey Ron, how are you? Robbie lost a tooth today! Yay, Robbie! I, I hope it was a good thing. I hope it didn't get knocked out with like a baseball or working on a car or something. I hope it's a good loss for a tooth. <laughs> Congratulations! That means you're growing up. Now, I don't know if I like that very much. I like for my kiddos to stay little forever, but something about life that makes you grow up. Hey Joan, thanks for joining. I'm so glad you guys are getting on and I am sporting the Bold Movement hat and I want everybody to know, I'm glad you're doing well Ron. Great, great, great. Hi Michelle, thank you for joining. I absolutely love and get so super excited when people log on and get online and like to, to just participate with us while we do this. This is sponsored by the Bold Movement and what we're trying to do is just give a little bit of biblical knowledge to the kiddos. We're a women's ministry, of course, but we have things that we're doing for the kids. And I want you to see the dog, you ready? Oh, can you see him? He likes to walk and bark, he's my favorite. So, thank you for joining. But here, I gotta tell you the big news, are you ready? Let's do a drum roll. The Bow Movement is launching their app. So now you can go and download the Bold Movement app and you will have everything at your fingertips. How cool is that? Megan Rawlings is a pretty smart cookie. So that was some really cool info. When she sent me the text, I was so excited. We are full throttle. Download that app and see what you think about it and give us some feedback because the only way you can improve stuff is if you let us know what you like about it, what you don't like about it, and what you'd like to see about it. So that's some really good information to have. So back to the women's ministry, we decided to expand it just a hair and start working with the, the children because it makes sense that we can accommodate the mothers, the sisters, the aunts, the grandmothers, but it's the family time and being quarantined and being home. Why not have a bedtime story? So we're trying to rise up our children to be godly children. So if we could share just a little bit with you that can help you maybe, I didn't know that, or maybe help you understand that, or maybe there's something going on that you weren't 100% sure about, now you know. So I'm super excited to share that with you, and I'm also super excited to share my experiment with you. I hope you're ready because this is something that I have not practiced a whole great big deal, but I practiced a little bit. Are you ready? This is, it's called crushed red pepper. Now, when you look at this container, it looks like there's a, a good bit of red pepper in there, right? So this is what, if you kind of like a little bit of spice, you might use this. So this is a bottle full of little red pepper flakes. What I want to show you is out of this bottle, this is one. It is on the end of my finger. Can you see it? I hope it doesn't fall off. It did, it fell off. That is one, one red pepper flake. Let me try it this way. Let me let you see it in the palm of my hand. That might help. Are you ready? That 
is one teeny tiny red pepper flake. So when you put them all together, it looks like a whole lot. But let me show you this. If you put it in this little bowl, can you see it? Not so much. You can see it from the bottom, but you really can't see it a whole lot. What if I put this same little pepper flake in a bigger bowl? Now this one has a little bit of water on it and I did that so it wouldn't float away, but there it is. See that one? On the, but it looks smaller because the bowl is larger. So what if I took this red pepper flake and I put it in this container? What do you think now? It looks even smaller. So what I'm trying to tell you and explain to you is that little bit of faith has the same impact on the really big, huge things we're going through in life, the mediocre things we're going through in life, or the tiny things that we're going through in life. All we have to have is that little bit of faith and it can get us through. I thought that was really kind of cool and I wanted to share that with you. So now I want to share something else that you're going to absolutely love. It's called Filled Full. Are you ready? Filled Full. This is the feeding of the 5,000 and it comes from Matthew 14, Mark 6, and Luke 9. You can find the same story in those three different places. Matthew, Mark, and Luke are all books in the New Testament. So the Bible is divided into the Old Testament and the New Testament, and these particular books are found in the New Testament. So Matthew, Mark, and Luke, Matthew 14, Mark 6, and Luke 9. Are you ready? Can't hear you. I think that's a yes. Let's get started. There were once 5,000 tired and hungry and probably very grumpy people sitting on a hillside wanting their dinner. They'd come to hear Jesus that day. They came before breakfast, stayed all morning, all afternoon, and way past dinner. So what that means is they got there really super early. So let's pretend like we're going fishing. Fish bite best when it's really still and quiet and early in the morning. So, well, it might be late at night too, but usually when I'm somewhere, it's the early morning fish. So, say you went fishing like 6.30 in the morning. So you hadn't eaten until like 10 o'clock that night, all day. Wouldn't you be so hungry? Sure you would. So, no one had meant to be out there that long, but that's how it was. Listening to Jesus as if time didn't exist. People could listen to Jesus for hours. And on this particular day, that's just what they did. And here's a picture of the people listening to Jesus. But they hadn't brought enough food and they couldn't just go and buy themselves a burger and fries to go because of course they were in the middle of nowhere with no shops or restaurants. Besides, that kind of food wasn't even invented yet. What would they do? Jesus' friends had an idea. Let's send everyone home for dinner. That sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? So let's see. You think that's what they did? That's not what they did. They don't need to go, Jesus said. You can give them something to eat. Did Jesus want them to travel all the way to town and buy food for everyone? Jesus' friends panicked. But we don't have enough money. What food do you have? Jesus asked. Go and see. Okay, now let's stop there. Let's go back. We've been there all morning. Let's just say it's 6.30 in the morning. Now it's 10 o'clock at night. We haven't eaten all day. And Jesus says, let's feed him. And his friends are saying, oh. so they're probably digging in their pockets, looking for money, 
They want us to feed these people. Do they want us to cook? Do we have fire? Do we have the stuff we need? Do we have our seasonings? Do we have our red pepper flake? Do we have what we need? Oh my goodness. Now you want us to go and see what food is out there? Can you imagine how they felt inside? They're probably thinking, what on earth is gonna happen? What are we gonna do? Well, they did as they were asked. And there was a little boy in the crowd. He had brought a lunch, smart kid, that his mother had made for him that morning. Good mom. He looked at his five loaves and two fish. It wasn't much. Not nearly enough for 5,000, but it's all he had. I have some, he said. Jesus' friends laughed when they saw his little lunch. That's not nearly enough, they said, but they were wrong. Jesus knew it didn't matter how much the little boy had. God would make it enough, more than enough. Jesus said, bring me what you have. And so the little boy gave Jesus his lunch Jesus winked at the little boy and whispered in his ear, watch this. Now this is where our faith kicks in. Are you ready for this one? This is a great deal. Are you ready? How in the world will Jesus feed everyone with just that? Jesus' friends said, because they thought it was impossible. But Jesus knew the one who made all the fish in the oceans and Jesus knew the one who in the very beginning had made everything out of nothing at all. How hard would something like this be for someone like that? That's right, Robbie, you just have to have faith. Here's our two fish and five loaves of bread and there's Jesus and the little boy. And there's the people in the background looking like what's gonna happen. Jesus took the little boy's lunch, looked up to heaven, and thanked his father. Then, Jesus gave the little lunch back to his friends. As Jesus' friends started to hand out the food, do you know what? This is great. It was the strangest thing. No matter how much they broke off, there was always more and more and more. Can you believe this? Enough for how many did we say were there? Do you remember? It's four digits, 5,000. Everyone ate as much as they wanted, second helpings, third helpings, even fourths until they were full. And still, there were leftovers. Can you imagine that? That is so amazing. That's right, 5,000, good job, girl. Well, Jesus did many miracles like this. Things people thought couldn't happen that weren't natural, but it was the most natural thing in all the world. It's what God had been doing from the beginning, of course, taking the nothing and making it everything, taking the emptiness and filling it up, taking the darkness and making it light. Here's people, look here. Their bellies are full. Look at this guy trying to carry all that food. There's another one. So isn't it amazing that when you have faith, the strangest things can happen and you will be totally blown away. You will be like, how on earth did that happen? It happened because you had faith and you believed that God could fix whatever you're thinking, whatever the problem is, if you believe in him and his faith, let me tell you, you are unstoppable already. But when you put your faith in God, hands down, you're gonna kick the ground running. You're gonna be doing amazing stuff. I am so thankful and grateful that you guys chose to spend just a little bit of your evening with me tonight. Hey, Paul Smith, a little bit of your evening with me tonight. I love being able to share some really cool information with you and I want you to know I really appreciate each and every one of you for your support, for your prayers, and for your thoughts. And looking forward to this at 7.30 is just a really exciting experience for me and I hope it's as exciting for you as it is for me. Thank you for your time. 
thank you for being with me. Be kind, be faithful, and be bold. That's right. Go out and be bold. Have a super great day. See you tomorrow night, 730. Talk to you then. Bye, guys.